Hi, it's Andrea from Club Psy Kids. I'm going to get you started on our first Lego challenge of the week. Before we begin, let's just go over a few of the concepts that you reviewed um, before watching this video. Um, the only things you're going to need are Legos and a balloon. Let's look at the balloon for a second. So right now, what kind of energy does this balloon have? Correct, it is potential energy because it's not moving but it has the potential to move. It has the potential to release a lot of energy. So if we go ahead and let go of the balloon, that's kinetic energy. Once it hits the floor, the energy is done. So that is the principle that you're going to use today to get your car to move. Here are my Legos. You can use any Legos you have. Again, you can use these regular ones. You can use the bigger Duplo ones. You could even use the generic ones. Um, the only thing you need to make sure is that you do have two sets of wheels because you are making a car so it needs to move. Other than that, you can use any Legos um, that you would like. So first of all, you're gonna need to build a car. Not just any car though, because we said that it's going to be balloon powered. Now, if you think back to Newton's third law of motion, it's for every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. We've already talked about how when we have the balloon blown up and the air is released this side, as the air comes out this side, the opposite reaction is that the balloon is going to go up. Now, as you just saw, it doesn't go straight up, it goes all over the place, but it always starts moving out opposite of the direction in which the air came out. If you held it this way and the air came out this way, then the balloon would start off by going that way. So when we think about the car, if, we, if this is the front of my car and we want the car to go this way, then which way do we have to let the air out? So if we let the air out this way and the air went this way, then which way would our car go? Correct, it would go the wrong way. So if we want our car to go this direction, we need to put the back of the balloon the opposite side of the direction we want it to go. Now, this car also wouldn't work because there's no way to sort of contain this balloon, okay? So what you need to do is you need to build a car that somehow can just have a little bridge or something here that can um, go over top of the balloon and hold it in place. As soon as you let go of the back of the balloon, the air is gonna go this way and the car will move this way. So you won't have to worry about securing the whole balloon. You just have to have something to keep the um, back of the balloon on. So take a couple of minutes and see if you can figure it out and I will work on mine as well. All right, so here's my car. This is gonna be the front of my car. So it's gonna move in this direction. So I need to know, I know that the blown up balloon part is gonna be over at the top of here and then the back of the balloon is going to be here. And I have a little, um, a little bridge type thing that's going to hold my balloon in place. I think we're going to try it. Part of science is after, and part of um, engineering and designing is that after you've designed it, you need to test it out. Sometimes we find out that, hey, it worked exactly like I thought, and sometimes we realize that we have to tweak something. So um, go ahead and blow up the balloon. I'm going to blow up the balloon. And I think it will probably be easiest if I take this off and then put it on once the balloon is blown up. So let's blow up our balloon and see what happens. Okay, I have my balloon and I have my car. So I'm going to put that there. I've twisted a little bit. So we... So I'm going to start it over here and we're going to see how far it goes and remember when we leave, um, when I leave go of the end of the balloon, the air is going to go this way and then it's going to push the car this direction. So let's test it out on a count of three. One, two, three. All right. So if there's a couple of you at home, what you could do is, or even if there's not, you could keep results of how far your car goes. Now on the table is not the best place to do it. The best place to test it out would probably be in a hallway um, where there's not carpet. So what you could do is if it's just yourself, you could lay out a measuring tape and each trial you do, you could measure to see how far it goes. Or even just 
putting a little piece of paper to mark where it was and to see if the next time if you can get it farther. If there's a couple of you at home, you each can build your own car and you can have races. And again, even though mine worked, I may be able to figure out what I could do to make it better. Just looking at my design, I think that although this is pretty neat and cool looking up here, I think that this prevents some of the air from coming out of it. So I could tweak it and take this off. So have fun with your challenge today and we'd love to see what you come up with. I'll see you tomorrow for our challenge number two.